For this example you will need a 2.5 volt LED and a 330 ohm resistor. So let's go ahead and take a look at the circuit diagram. The cathode leg of the LED is connected with the Raspberry Pi Pico ground pin and the anode leg of the LED is connected with the GP28 through a 330 ohm current limiting resistor. I did the same exact connections on the breadboard and now let's take a look at the programming. This is the same exact program that I used for controlling the onboard LED. This time I made a few changes to make it more readable. This time I'm using the GP28 to control the external LED. I also defined a variable delay so by changing this value over here you can control the blinking rate of the LED. So let's go ahead and run this code. Let's change the delay time. I'm sure now you have fully understood how to control an external LED. Now I'm going to explain how to use multiple LEDs with Raspberry Pi Pico. I'm going to create the Night Rider LED effect using Raspberry Pi Pico and multiple LEDs. So first let's take a look at the circuit diagram. In the previous example I used the GP28 pin of the Raspberry Pi Pico board to control the LED. This circuit is quite similar to the previous circuit. The only difference is that this time I'm using multiple LEDs. I'm using the same 330 ohm current limiting resistors. The cathode legs of all the LEDs are connected with the ground pin of the Pico board and the inode legs of all the LEDs are connected with GP21, 22, 26, 27 and 28 through these current limiting resistors. You can increase the number of LEDs as per your requirement. Make sure you keep an eye on the maximum current rating. If you need more current then you can use an external power supply. I completed all the connections as per the circuit diagram and now let's take a look at the programming. This code is similar to the previous code. The only difference is that this time I'm using multiple LEDs to create the night rider effect. I'm turning on only one LED at a time. You can see the code is quite lengthy. You can reduce this code to a few lines of code by using an array. You can download that code from my website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. For now we will continue with this code so let's go ahead and run this code.
it looks pretty awesome you can increase or decrease the delay time in the same way as I previously explained I'm sure you have fully understood how to turn on and turn off any GPIO pin on the Raspberry Pi Pico board 